67 Impala. I'm sure y'all can. You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind the Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and be a part of the team. You hear me? And caprices in the bitches lit. Squatted on them sixes, how them bitches sit. Candy coated paint, I had to drop a lick. What's good, fam? Another day, another video. What's going on? What's going on, fam? What's going on? <coughs> another day above ground equals a beautiful day, like I always say. So if it's a beautiful day, why not go out and chase your goals? Why not go out and chase your dreams? Why not go out and work on yourself, you hear me? Real talk, fam. Just another day, man. You feel me? Y'all already know we got the same 24, man. But what's good, though? What's going on, man? Got to get out there. Got to get motivated. Feel me? Make things happen. It's not going to fall in your lap. Don't nobody owe you anything. Got to get out there and put that work in. You feel me? Like I always say. And that's real talk. I'm just, feel me? Letting y'all know, man. Get, trying to motivate y'all. For anybody out there that's not motivated. Because like I say, y'all motivate me. But yeah, fam, like I say, man, every day is a beautiful day. You feel me? Um, Even if the weather ain't all that. You feel me? Speaking of weather, we out here right now in Miami, Florida. It's raining. You feel me? It's raining, as you can see. But guess what, though? I'm above ground, so it's a beautiful day, you feel me? The weather don't determine how beautiful the day is, you feel me? Being above ground determines that it's a beautiful day, you feel me? You might be dealing with something right now, but you feel me? Eventually, you will get through that, and that's real talk, man. But today, you understand me? We're on our way to the shop right now uh, to see what's going on, see what kind of work being put in. And then also, you know what I'm saying, we planning for Donk Day as well. Uh, Donk Day is slowly approaching, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I can't wait. Donk Day going down July 17 in Dover, Florida. If you haven't heard or if you're new to the channel, Donk Day, uh, like I said, going down July 17 in Dover, Florida, which is basically the Tampa area. It's the sixth annual Donk Day. All custom cars are welcome to come help us celebrate Donk Day. You feel me? Once again, it's Donk Day, but all custom cars are welcome to come help us celebrate. You understand me? Um, yeah, man, I can't wait to see y'all there, man. I hope the whole DPF can make it. The Donk Planet family. I hope the whole DPF can make it. I hope to see you guys all out there, man. Real talk. Hope to see all of y'all out there, man. And, uh... I appreciate the people that dropped the comments, the prayer mohis, in the last video we did uh, regarding the building that collapsed in Miami. You know, uh, like I said, shout out to the first responders. They working 24/7 around the clock to uh, find find people, find the uh, missing people. You know what I'm saying? 24/7 around the clock. They putting that work in. Real talk, man. They putting that work in. Shout out to the first responders. And uh, my prayers definitely go out to everybody affected from that tragedy. You understand me? Um, one thing I wanted to say that say say about that though is, uh, fam, like I know that everybody out there that watch the channel are not real supporters. You understand me? Or not real DPF. And the reason I say that because there's people out there that will watch your channel purposely to try to find something and turn it into something negative. And I say this because the other day, I saw a comment on the video that I made, on the video we put out the other day where uh, I was speaking about the building that collapsed and the dude and then Buddy commented and said something to the, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he said something to the effect that, man, you'll do anything for footage. Man, respect them people. Respect them people. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, what is this imbecile talking about? 
You know what I'm saying? Something happened in my city, a tragedy happened in my city where I'm from. You feel me? Something real tragic happened and I speak on it. And some imbecile comes and comment, talk about some, oh, you would do anything for footage or oh, respect them people. Like how, how did I disrespect them people in the first place is what I want to know. Like I said, so it's like I said, you got people like, you feel me? Like if you feel that way, why are you even comment? How you, how are you even on the channel? If you feel that way, you know, if you feel like I'm doing bad or if whatever, you don't like what I'm doing. <clears throat> I can honestly say that comment came from somebody that obviously uh, doesn't like me or whatever the case may be. And which I don't care. Like, you feel me? I, everybody is not here to like me and I don't, you feel me? It is what it is. Like, you feel me? I don't care if you like me or not. You're not gonna stop me. You understand what I'm saying? Whether you like me or not, you're not gonna stop me. You can't stop me. You understand me? You can't stop me. So, but basically, that comment was made by somebody who don't like me. The man come on the page saying I disrespected the people by making the videos telling people to drop the prayer of Mohees, keeping the people in your prayers. Shout out to the first responders. He said I disrespected the people. In some way, somehow, he took it as a sign of disrespect. I don't know, man. I, I, I just wanted to speak on that real quick. But people these days, man, these people are weirdos. You feel me? Like, you could say something positive and they find a way to make it negative. It's crazy to me. It's really crazy. But anyway, man, moving along. You feel me? Appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, watch the full video. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell, select all, and turn on the post notifications. You feel me? You definitely want to have the post notifications turned on because we do post content often. And on top of that, the content we post be fire. And on top of that, we doing a don't giveaway. It's the Don't Planet Don't Giveaway. We're giving away a don't. 1973 two door hard top that we're giving away never has a don't been given away before we're giving this donk away once we hit 200,000 subscribers on youtube for a chance to win this donk all you have to do subscribe to don't plan a youtube channel click the bell select all and turn on the post notifications post notifications must be turned on because part of the requirements is watching and commenting on videos on don't plan a youtube channel so post notifications must be turned on so you can know when we post new videos so you can go watch and comment on them also you must spread the word and tell everybody you know that like don'ts about the don't plan it don't giveaway that's the rules for entering the giveaway don't just subscribe and disappear thinking that you're going to win the don't because it's not going to happen you have to participate on the don't plan a youtube channel meaning you have to watch videos and comment on videos no you don't have to comment on every single video but you have to watch and comment on videos it is very important the don't plan it don't give away yeah fam that was the giveaway ad man y'all see it man we giving away a solid starter don't man it's a 1973 two-door hard top very solid don't and we giving it away all you got to do is follow the instructions that you saw on the ad that, that you heard on the ad rather Follow the instructions and you'll be entered for a chance to win a dunk that we're giving away. We're giving away for the price of free. Uh, it's one of the most sought after years in the dunk game. You feel me? It's a 1973. Um, and we're giving it away. All you got to do is do what the ad says. And you'll be entered in for a chance to win, man. But yeah, fam, like I was saying um, before, you know what I'm saying? We still getting ready for dunk day. Uh... And like I've said in previous videos, um, I don't know if you guys know, but planning events is not easy. Planning events is not easy. Shout out to anybody out there that plan events. It is not easy, you understand me? So, you know what I'm saying? Just get the people out there that plan events, they flowers, because it is not an easy thing to do. But yeah, fam, we on the road. Um, it's raining, so we gonna focus on this road, man. Let go. Yeah, fam, we made it, man. That weather out there is terrible, man. It's raining cats and dogs, man. But yeah, we made it. We had the shop. Some boys putting in at work. As you can see, man, don'ts everywhere, man. Don'ts everywhere, man. Them boys putting in that work. 
One thing I can say about the Dunk Game fam, like, these cars, they take a lot of time to get them together, man. They take a lot of time, you feel me? Like, everything with them, we're trying to get them right. It takes a while. It's not like a type of car that you could just breeze through, you understand me? Everything takes a while, so you might notice certain cars that been here, you know, for a couple months or what have you, but sometime in the don't game, man, that's the way things work. It's not like it's a new, it's not like it's a new car, you feel me? Uh, it's, a, it's a old school, so you want to get that thing right. And especially Donks, man. Donks is like, to me, one of the old schools that has like a lot of pieces involved with it, man. Like a lot of pieces. When it comes to them, like breaking down the dome, yeah. And yeah. all that, man. It's a lot, it's a lot involved. Tired of the noise, man. The car's making this noise. I guess that's the door noise because the door is open. I'm trying to tell him they need to disconnect the battery because it's in his ear, making all that noise. the doors work because we need to work inside the door so trying to disconnect that so y'all see it man 71 hard top like i said you don't need a hard top you don't need a convertible to be healing out here you can be healing out here in a, ver in a hard top as well and we got a seven tray vert over here Can't find the noise. The alarm? The mystery, man, trying to find the noise. This is a seven tray vert right here. This boy trying to kill that noise, man. It's annoying. They done killed the noise, fam. This this one right here, they done ground it down to the middle. Down to the middle, fam. Very important to get these cars down to the middle if it's, if, if 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 that needs to be done. You understand me? We got peanut butter jelly in a cut over here, man. Peanut butter jelly coming soon. Real talk. Peanut butter jelly coming soon with that mouillard on there. You feel me? And we got the 74 vert over here. A lot of y'all might have, have saw and seen these cars already. But then again, though, we got a lot of new subscribers on the channel, so. This is for the new subscribers, you feel me? New subscribers. Some of these cars, people have seen them before. And some of them, they still here. You understand me? Like I said, it takes time to put these cars together. Down to the metal over there. We got the 74 Vert coming soon. Peanut butter jelly coming soon. Fam over here, man, they just uh, put this quarter panel on this car. Put the fresh quarter panel on. It's not uh, completely mounted on there yet, but y'all see what's going on, man. Going on, man. New color panel on the man. See, they didn't cut the other side off too. 
other side on as well. But y'all see it, man. What's good, fam? Yeah, we just got here. We at Jugs. Came to check out this car that I that I'm sure you guys can appreciate. Y'all check this out, man. 67 Impala. I'm sure y'all can appreciate this. All my car lovers, man. I don't really know too much about the 60s Impala. But I do know that this car does look good. Anybody out there know anything about these type of cars, drop it in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Down here at Jugs, Auto Tune. They did the interior, music, the back deck back there. Interior looking good too. Oh yes sir. Y'all drop no comments. Let me know what y'all think about this man. This thing looks mighty good. 67 in pallet. See this is the back deck. Got a logo back there. I don't know what logo that is exactly. But you guys get the picture. Got some nice wheels on there. Might be a little dusty, but y'all get the picture. Just need a wash. What's good, boss? All right. Seven and Pella, man. Eh, What you think about that trunk, man? Oh, it looks awesome. Wow. This is fucking sick. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I like that SS symbol. I really like it. That describes the car picture. Wow. Yeah, nice. Real clean. I'm like nice. Lost for words. <laughs> Yeah, they did that, they did that, it look good, I like it. Oh, that is great. What them as, 210s, 12s? Huh? What them as, 212s, 210s? Yeah, 212s. 212s. Yeah. It's nice. And it's real neat, you feel me? Yeah, it's so clean. Yeah. Oh God. And you got all that trunk space left. What does the lip mean? It's a, it's, a, it's a nickname that I had when I was young. Okay. Gotcha. And I made shirts, you know, I have my own shirt company, so. Oh, for real? Put, yeah. Ah, okay. Or, or, um, own shirt company, like you print shirts? Yeah, well, no, 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 I make oh, shirts. Okay. Shirts, hats. Yeah, you, you, yeah. you print them? Yeah, yeah, it's like my own brand. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And this is 67. 67. 67. And what size was the mill? 22. 22. Look real good. Yeah. Yeah, man, you looking good, man. And the interior is awesome. Man. The interior is really nice. You really want to look What color is that? It's like a tan, white, tan, like a little beige, but it's, it's so nice. Yeah, it's really nice. I like it. It came out beautiful. Really and I see you put the 
the lib and the dash yeah. over there. When you turn on the light, and then put it back here too. Oh, that's what that is back there. Yeah, you're gonna trace it out so you can really pop out the light. Like they really custom made this car really nice. Yeah, definitely made it nice. I like it. Really nice, man. Yeah. I know you're gonna be happy driving this. Oh yeah, can't wait. <laughs> Y'all see it, fam. 67 Impala, man, looking good. Yes, sir. Y'all drop no comments. Let us know what y'all think. But yeah, fam. Y'all see what's going on, man. Had to stop by real quick by just check out this 67 Impala, man. Y'all drop no comments. You understand me? Let me know what y'all think, man. Drop no comments, man. But we about to go ahead on and get out of here. It's about the rain as well, so we about to go ahead on and get out of the rain so we don't get sick. You feel me? Just make sure y'all drop them comments, man. Y'all already know, man. Until next time, keep it locked right here. Don't plan to lie behind the scenes, you hear me?